Thanks. Hello, and welcome to Cubby TV. This is Steve Cubby, your host. And today, we honor the memory of Steve Collette. Now, let me read to you what former New Mexico governor and libertarian presidential candidate Gary Johnson had to say about the sudden and unexpected death of Steve Collette this weekend. The Liberty Movement lost a great leader and tireless advocate with the passing of Steve Collette. His enthusiasm, his energy, and his dedication to making the world a better place were and remain uplifting to all who knew and worked with him. So we honor the passing of Steve Collette today with some video and photos that I've collected and an opportunity to hear some of the words that Steve Collette spoke in defense of liberty and in his efforts, his tireless efforts, to end prohibition. Steve, this is for you. There's a, uh, a guy who was a sitting governor of New Mexico in the 1990s, came out and spoke about ending marijuana prohibition. Spoke and still speaks about treating drugs as a medical issue, not a criminal issue. The guy's name is Gary Johnson. He's the libertarian candidate for president. His vice presidential candidate, uh, Judge Jim Gray, who's going to be speaking here this weekend too, uh, literally wrote the book on drug policy. Uh, he's uh, a, a co-proponent on regulate marijuana like wine in California. But the other thing you can do is vote Johnson Gray in the presidential election. Uh, how many people here have either had their rights violated to search and seizure or had that happen to a friend? Uh, it's, it, it's horrible. Uh, I look at my rights violations and I say, wow, I'm white. Uh, I'm white and I can pay for an attorney when something happened to me. Minorities are completely screwed. Uh, so, so what can we do about it? Uh, there's four things we can do to change every single one of us. Uh, top of the list, uh, get on a jury. Get on a jury. There's a marijuana issue of illegal search and seizure where it's questionable. We all had people, uh, you know, the policeman came up to the car and said he thought I was reaching for a weapon or something. Come on. There's a question about search and seizure. Vote not guilty. And we get all it takes is one juror on every jury. And when that happens, we're going to see the laws change. Second thing we can do. Uh, everybody's talking about these three initiatives, Colorado, Oregon, and Washington. And we had an initiative a couple years ago in California and deaths in Mexico uh, in the last five years because of our war on drugs in the United States. And they're traveling, the victims are traveling. Uh, Gary Johnson's going to have a van going with them. There's a group, Law Enforcement Against Prohibition. I mean, if you see this car, it's a black and white with a big, with written on the side of it, uh, says, stop the violence, legalize drugs. I mean, it looks like a regular cop that's filled with retired policemen. Uh, but they're going across the country. It's 30 days. They're going to end up in Washington, D.C., September 12th. So tell people about the Caravan for Peace. Uh, if you can go, I'm going to be joining the Caravan for Peace uh, after this event. And uh, thank you for the opportunity to speak. Well, thank you for joining us, and thank you for this opportunity to pay homage to the memory of Steve Collette. This has been Steve Cubby with Cubby TV, Pot TV, Cannabis Culture, wishing you a great 420 day. The tea of what I hope to be. The